Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are doing a street photography POV with none other than the Sony A1. My main camera for the last year now officially came up on that one year anniversary. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Brock Wonder. I am a street and travel photographer based in Toronto, but recently decided to make the trek out to Ottawa because this channel is about how to live a more creative and impactful life. And one of the best ways I found to really boost up my creativity sometimes if I'm feeling uninspired or maybe I'm just walking the same route for my photography all the time is to actually get out of the city and travel and find some sort of new adventure to go on with my camera and see what I can make. And while Ottawa is not a far destination from Toronto, about four, four and a half hours or so, it definitely is a good change of pace. It is a very different city from Toronto and what I'm used to capturing, and it was 100% worth the trip. So I'm excited to share today's street photography with you. And the way I like to set up these videos is to mount a GoPro on my chest, put up the footage, show the photography as I capture it, and do a little voiceover. The video's taking place primarily in the Byward Market. And then of course we go to those classic Ottawa locations, some of the lookout points, and Parliament Hill. So with that, I don't wanna prolong this intro much longer. Let's jump on into the POV. So we are kicking things off at the entrance of the Byward Market. And there is this little cafe, I'm gonna say, or restaurant called Starling there. I thought it led to a pretty unique vibe. And then I really just tried looking for those kind of more cultural shots of the city. Things like those bracelets and the details some photos of people and just who was actually shopping at the Byward Market. And overall, it was kind of a good time. I was a little bit on the out of practice side, I'm gonna say, just really looking for some new compositions in a city I am, to be honest, very unfamiliar with. I hadn't been here since I was basically like 19 or 20 in a co-op job I had at the time. I went there for work. And then I think prior to that, I only went when I was like 13. So Ottawa's been this destination I've kind of wanted to get to to explore, but led to some cool shots, especially this one of the couple. I like how they were basically on uh, the rule of thirds. If you put that up on the screen, got them in that nice spot of focus. I actually really liked this shot with the uh, reflection through the mirror. Thought that was kind of neat. It was a classic composition that I used to get a lot uh, whenever I saw Vespa around but Toronto we don't really have too much of a scooter friendly city if I'm being uh, honest and then saw this shot of the guy crossing the street thought this one was cool just from the colors the punchy blues and like that orange in the background but I didn't really like how he had that plastic bag and then tried kind of doing something similar with these uh, with these two people walking across the street but didn't quite come off this shot on the other hand was quite the vibe I love this old beamer thought it was cool the way the guy's shirt was uh, kind of had that logo on the back and led to that kind of more nostalgic nostalgic feeling and then thought, thought I had a pretty cool architecture shot with this one. The blues in the sky I thought were kind of cool and uh, overall that feature on the top of the roof was pretty cool. I tried capturing this couple walking across the street as well in front of that building because I liked it so much but with all the cars driving by it didn't really turn out how I had hoped and then of course there is the iconic beaver tail stand and I saw this couple right out in front and I thought maybe there'd be like some cool moment that I'd be able to capture and if I could position myself but they didn't really move from where they were at. So I ended up capturing the photo just as best I could. I don't really like this shot, if I'm being quite honest. It's kind of average. And really, I think it comes down to just the uh, the colors itself that make it interesting. Of course, then you have the iconic Fairmont Hotel right across from Parliament Hill. This spot, you could honestly just photograph it for days because the building itself is so interesting. And really, just everything around this area is so historic. Really, just the uh, original facades that we don't have in Toronto. Love this shot from just the repetition and the patterns that I was able to capture. That's what made it interesting. And then this shot you see right here, I actually tried grabbing this shot like three or four times. So I just kept on walking back and forth trying to get that one. Uh, showed you the completed product, but it didn't really turn out how I had hoped, mostly because of uh, I, they were in a candid conversation. And so I thought it'd be kind of cool if I could figure out how to capture that moment, but they ended up looking and kind of broke character. Of course, though, when there is a matte black Mercedes Mercedes on the street, you know I gotta go capture that car, even if it was a little bit dirty. And then trying to grab some more shots of culture, I saw this stand, all the people around it, thought that was kinda cool. And then I got this candid shot of this guy leaning up on the pillar. He didn't actually notice me until right at the end and then looked very unimpressed, if I'm being quite honest. But overall, I'm kind of happy with that shot. This one was kind of cool. It'd be kind of neat if this guy was interacting with a customer or something instead of just being super chill about it. But 
kept on moving on looking for some more kind of like ambiance shots and that shot with the sign was pretty cool i love this shot obama actually went to this cafe when he came to visit ottawa and i kind of walked by it three or four times looking for something interesting saw this shot of the guy with the apron cleaning the tails and thought it kind of led to a more cultural vibe and then this church i think i would have a ton of fun with if it was like nighttime and i could get some light trails found out it's actually the oldest church in Canada. Maybe don't quote me on that. I was overhearing a tour guide <laughs> talking about the, the fact of uh, its unique Gothic architecture um, and when it was founded. And then of course, these shots with the locks. You saw me post these shots on Instagram with that last reel I had. Thought they actually turned out really cool. I love adding some like foreground blur, really just guiding the viewer's eye through the photo. That's like one of my favorite things to do in photography. And then of course, we come to the famous famous bridge and uh, I, th I said to myself I want to get some symmetry today that was one of my like photographic goals is like Toronto's a very asymmetrical city so it didn't really work out throughout literally photographing Toronto this entire time getting photos of symmetry and you see me sprint here because I basically was waiting for cars to pass by so that I could get right in the middle grab the symmetry that I wanted and then had the bridge on both sides managed to come out with this one I'm actually pretty happy with this just from the fact that I think a lot of people wouldn't have gone to have gotten that shot um, and I thought like it just kind of worked out from really getting a bridge in like a unique composition from how people normally would take it which is this photo that is coming up you can get it from an angle would have been cool if I put like the 16 to 35 on I think shot this at like 20 millimeters instead of 24 just needed that extra like bit of room but I didn't just because like the lighting wasn't there and I kind of wanted to keep moving to other photo locations I thought would be more interesting and now the Sony a7 IV comes out for some of these shots around Parliament Hill so this shot was kind of cool just with the uh, the railings uh, using it as subframing for the tower got this shot of the uh, National Gallery framed in between the trees I thought that was kind of a cool vibe and then looking for some depth with this infamous sundial which I really have to look into why everybody talks about it <laughs> but it led to some cool detail shots that I've also included in a photo carousel especially with this one I love that the library of parliaments off into the background and you have that sundial just in the front and then really looking for some interesting shots to round off the entire thing of some architecture getting the first shot as some light shots getting that contrast in the photo and then ending it off with the classic shot of Parliament Hill really looking for a more interesting way to capture it so subframing along the railings and that is going to tee off really this street photography session in Ottawa. I hope you liked it and I hope that the settings that I've included along the way might give you a little bit of insight on what you need to use uh, for some photos as well. Of course, all the photos are also posted up on my Instagram feed. So if you do wanna see the completed photos, you can hop on over there. So with that, just wanna say thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.